all. I would just like to welcome you to my channel. Um, this is my first video for ITV and YouTube. I'm going to touch bases on a couple of different things and be talking about a project I most recently completed. So first of all, I just wanted to let you know that anyone can hire an interior designer. There are price options for every project and hiring a designer can actually save you money in the long run. All services are completely tailored to the customer's needs and budget. Whether that just be a consultation, sourcing, an e-design, or my personal favorite, full service design. Anywho, let's dive in and talk about one of the projects I most recently completed. The clients were looking for a new kitchen and to freshen up the living room. They wanted something that worked for their busy little family. They didn't know where to start and they were all open for ideas. I started the majority of my clients off with a private Pinterest board to get a feel for who they are, what styles they're pulled towards, and what things they're liking. This sometimes helps them find their styles as well. From there, I gauge what direction to head in to prep for the design. For a color palette in this space, we went with lots of whites with soft grays, subtle touches of blues, and a mix between black and brushed nickel metals and bleach wood accents to keep things fairly soft. When it comes to the layout of this kitchen, we opted for an eat-in kitchen island. In order to make the most of this space, the kitchen can easily be divided into a dining area by simply setting it as a table and adding accents. There was originally a closet and a half wall when you entered the front door. This seemed to be more of a drop zone for the clients. In order to maximize storage and functionality, we removed the closet and half wall and had a cabinet made for their things that tied in seamlessly into the kitchen cabinetry. We went with white cabinetry from Josh and Dan at Sinclair Construction as it is timeless and fresh with black streamlined hardware. We decided to carry the white to a countertop with Bianca Carrera white quartz from City Stone. I honestly love this backsplash. It is from Tile Inspire. These soft texture dip tiles complete this look, not to mention the color was in a picture that the clients completely loved. And they told me this is what we want. We opted for glass pendants over the island to keep the sight lines open and not obstruct the views to the living room. I can't help but mention these gorgeous stools from Urban Bark, slim and streamlined. Okay, moving on to the living room. What used to be an oversized sectional, we made the focal point of the room. To do this, we had a modern fireplace installed and strapped with shiplap. And the beautiful bleach wood beam from Kurt at Steel Tree Custom just fit the space. But let's be honest, the frame TV is one of my favorite things. TVs have to be one of the ugliest things to hang and be the focal point of the room. This doesn't have to be the case with a frame TV. The art that's displayed while the TV is turned on was simply purchased and downloaded off Etsy. With the clients being a young family, and also the owners of a sweet dog, they insisted that the fabric and area rugs all be kid and pet friendly. We went with ruggable rugs, and you know what? They're totally washable, not to mention they're beautiful. The sofas are decor rest, and they were locally sourced from Conway Furniture. And the three paintings are definitely gorgeous accents that we went with from Urban Bart, and they really pull this space together. I do want to highlight how important it is to shop local and support local businesses. All of the other accents were purchased locally from myself, Stonehaven Interiors, as well as our local The Perfect Piece and Allura Street Flowers and the Eco Den and many more. I will tag them all. Lastly, I must mention that we had an amazing contractor. Scott Kosleg was on board as our contractor to help finish the project floor to ceiling, start to finish, including hanging all the pictures and wall art. He seriously blew me away. Anywho, I hope you like what we did with George Bungalow. And if you have any questions, comments, or would like to book a consultation, feel free to throw me an email or a message and I'll get back to you. But otherwise, I think this is the part where I say like and subscribe and drop a comment below.